Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horatak and we are playing Stellaris on insane difficulty as the zombie fallen empire. Welcome back. Uh, we're still on patch 1.4 with the newest DLC Leviathans. We're going to start a war, I think. We have to before the Imari and the Strakons come back. Have the Strakons built up to their force limit? Yes, they have. That's a problem actually. <laughs> That's a real problem because... Uh, these guys attack me again. I want to go after the Imari as soon as possible before um, these guys join their stupid federation. They already have association status. Well, they might just they might just add them, and that would be a bad day for me. That's for certain. I could I could I guess fight these two, but if they have the Imari in there with them, that's gonna be that's gonna be a really bad day for me. Mm, on the other hand, if I had the mesh ben under my belt, I might have sort of a strong enough vassal that they could maybe help me against the United Sint Sintamoroi states and the Sondrithans. It's not impossible. Yeah, we'll we'll do it. We've got to we've got to um, risk something. So we're gonna go for humiliate, and we're gonna liberate. We're gonna liberate Marath three. And then we're gonna um, also gonna take Rigel. I'm gonna take Rigel over here. Uh, what else are we gonna do? I think we're just gonna take open borders with the Ixedar and the Meshben League of Sons. Yeah, that results in 94 war score cost. That's fine, I think. We're just gonna go to war now. And I think I'll start fighting the Mesh Ben actually. Because I don't think the I don't think the other guys are a problem. Um, I have no idea where they are coming from. What took you so long, species said. Let us end this once and for all. Well, you, we'll see how it goes, dude. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we're down the drain now in energy credits. Um, because we also lost a, a trade treaty with the Confederation of Hexica. No. Oh, this actually goes on. Interesting. Okay then, that's fine. Uh, we have to build up our our fleet further. I'm not sure how to do that. I could go for level six spaceport upgrade on here in Wimbrigand. I might. It's gonna improve our our force limit. Yeah, well, I will actually. So Gallimon Prime, you upgraded. You're fully upgraded. And all of these things are fully upgraded. Um, on the surface, though, what's happening on the surface? We're gonna go for a power hub on this one. Um, put a power hub down, upgrade that one, and build a basic science lab on that spot. And I think that's about it. Gallimon Prime, you still have a lot of building to do. Nembus Prime, things are looking okay-ish. Rochelle Prime, Things are looking good. You're doing fine. Oh yeah, happiness minus ten percent. Why though? Collectivist, fanatic, materialist. What's your problem? Why are you unhappy? Inoffensive war. Okay then. I think that's fine. I think. Um, did I already get rid of the warfare program? I did. Hmm. Okay then. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. And I wouldn't mind getting more ships. Uh, let's just go for fast speed here. Um, our ships are getting ready to jump into the first, to the system of the mesh ben. There they are. Moving over, Muffred system. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, I guess we ran into one of their stations here. Now we're gonna destroy their spaceport so they can't really do much. Okay, their spaceport is the station is gone. Their spaceport is gone. Um, we're gonna destroy their this thing over here. The Chim Council has a science ship in there. That's interesting. Oh, we're still waiting for the end of the warp wind down. That's interesting. What do they have in there? Oh, twenty-three point seven seven eight. We do have sensors now. We have we have eyes on this system. Where are these guys going? Entering wormhole to Murfrid, four days. Following my ships. 
Okay, that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very interesting to see what we do. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, right. At least we're no longer in the warp wind down. What are these guys using? Cruisers. Okay, they got the gamma lasers and they got the disruptors. Their shields are worse than ours. They're using afterburners on their cruisers. Their armor is, is worse. Their sensors are worse. They don't have anything on us. Let's have a look at their at their battleship. What are they using? Ooh, they have tachyon lances. That's interesting. That's interesting. It's going to be some interesting debris to sift through. They do have the advanced bomber wings. Yeah, okay. I get it. We'll see how it goes. We do have our good admiral in this one. Okay, so now all the spinal mounts went off. <laughs> um, that's going to be very interesting to see who wins this. And uh, doesn't look like it's going to be us. I mean, their shields are down now, but we're losing. We're, no, we're losing ships faster than they do. I guess our designs really aren't that good. Construction complete. Yes, our designs are not good. For some reason. We lost 10k, whilst they lost nearly nothing. That's pretty interesting. Either our fleet composition is bad. Or what is it that they're doing? We've inflicted a lot of kinetic artillery damage. They're bringing more. Um, they did a lot more damage to shields. Okay. They, we're hitting more than they do. Don't really get it. Why are they? Why are they better than we are? Is the admiral so good? Eager fleet logistician? No, that's not it. I don't understand. I mean, it seems to even out a little bit. Oh, we have another hostile fleet. No, that's it. That's the hostile fleet. So all we got is our battleships now. Uh, our battleships are fighting cruisers and stuff. I'm not sure if the shield thing is really a thing. I think we might just go into full armor. Strikes me that the shields are actually rather inefficient. We might just go full armor and regeneration. Go for the superior staying power. That that has been a shame for the spray. Um, that's for certain. And we're winning. But their battleships were wiping the floor with ours. That's for certain. We have a dangerous faction as well. Dangerous pop faction. What? Oh yeah, these guys. Okay, I've got to suppress them again. Kill them. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting the research on the Tachyon Lances from this. That looks kind of nice. Large spaceport components. Barrier point defense. There's something to be gained from this. Only our battleships and one destroyer survive this. Okay, Imari Xenos have ruined a building on the planet Bruik. That's fine. Do that if you think that it's that it's gonna benefit you. Yeah, we have we have difficulties um, hitting those those corvettes. And there are their, their transport ships. The guys that are moving the troops around. Situation Situation okay, we managed to f to to kill off their fleet. That's something. That's something. Um, but I'm really not happy with our ship designs here. That should have not been as close. We entered in this battle with 30. They had 24, and we lost half our fleet. That should not have happened. A wormhole is opening, and something is coming through. What is coming through? Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, that Situation was... log updated. <laughs> that thing was just destroyed. Well, what we'll do is we won't give them any chance to actually um, regroup or rebuild their ships or anything. That's the Manjedi. That's the Manjedi fleet. 
but I, I want to destroy their, their home system spaceport, is what I want to do. Hostile fleet engaged. Because these guys have to go. I uh, want to take away their ability to build those big ships. Um, unless the war drags Situation on for too long. Updated. Yeah, I think our designs aren't great. I wonder why. I guess we're not playing to our own strengths here. Armor tanking it's gonna be. We're Situation gonna go without any updated. shields. Station under attack. Situation updated. Okay, we've got a station under attack. Where's that one? We've got hostile fleets. Okay, we've got a navy cluster in Ixathrak. Really? They're bombarding Ixathrak? Well, if they only have a, f a ship with a hundred strength, it's gonna take them years. What's that? That's their main fleet. They're attacking a research station over there. I can live with that. I can live with that, that's fine. Situation log updated. Okay, so that thing is gone. Uh, what we want to do is we want to prevent these guys from actually joining up um, with their friends. Well, let's just let's just get into this system. I'm just gonna uh, rampage through their spaceports um, for a little while, and then we'll see how it goes. We're gonna turn off this fleet as a rally point because I want to start building other ships, and we're gonna we're gonna change up our designs. I'm not convinced that we actually doing enough either we're not bringing enough damage or we're not uh, we're not defensive enough so we're gonna go for the regenerative hull tissue again um, release the shields out of there it's not it's not great on the corvettes but oh well the corvettes are gonna die anyways so it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna go for more armor here um, devastated torpedoes hmm yeah I think that's fine we still have too much energy. Let's go for let's go for a small energy thingy here. Ah, oh, it just doesn't do it. Crap. Crap. I felt that we were actually performing better when we just were filling up on lasers instead of these um, disruptors and stuff. Well, okay then. Just gotta go for two of the medium guys and then. I'm gonna go for more shield, uh, for more armor here. That's gonna, that's gonna be it. Gamma, um, destroyer. Yeah, these guys are also gonna change into regenerative fall tissue, and we're gonna go for all the Dura steel here. No, wait, no, we need neutronium armor. Okay, that's good. The face disruptors, they're really not doing much for us. I think gamma lasers might actually be better. These do 12, these do 2.25. Um, oh, yeah, these do three though. So I think we'll actually go with those. Um, save it. Was I giving this the right armor? Yes, I was. So, cruisers. We're going to have more regenerative hull tissue, guys. Uh, more neutronium armor. No shields whatsoever. Which is going to reduce the need for a lot of these. Um, no, that doesn't quite work. Well, we're going we're gonna to put lasers on these as well. Gamma lasers. These are actually not great. Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay, we are at a hundred over capacity. This is generating 120, so I guess I just gotta get rid of this one and put some neutronium armor on there. I could give them a little bit of shields, but do we really need it? I don't think so. I think we'll just go without the shields. Um, these might profit from afterburners, but I sort of want to stuck the hull regeneration. Why not? Um, they do have a fair amount of hull points, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a viable strat. These guys are already brought up to the max. I don't have to change anything on on this one. Um, these guys, though, um, let's go for regenerative hull tissue. 
I mean, this might be this might be just plain bad. I'm not sure. Let's go for the gamma lasers on these one as well. Do you feel that the gamma lasers are doing more for us than the other guys? Um, neutronium armor. Let's go for a big chap. Let's go for a small chap, and I think that's about it. 83% damage reduction. That's fairly nice. Um, Battle cruiser. You already have been changed. The light carriers still need uh, changing. So let's go for the generative halt tissue. Let's swap all that stuff out. No, that didn't work. Okay then. Let's go for some some big reactor. We're gonna remove that one. Um, advanced bomber wings is fine. And we're gonna go with some gamma lasers here. That's all right. So light carrier. That's the light carrier design. So the cruisers have already been changed. Um, and then we got the alphas over here. Not sure if the kinetic uh, kinetic artillery is really doing much. It ignores 20% of armor. Oh well. Um, not sure if the gamma lasers are better because they do have some tracking. Yeah. I mean these guys are fine, I guess. These guys are fine. Let's go for the regenerative hull tissue. And let's start slapping on some neutronium armor. 90% armor. Oh crap. Okay, so that, that doesn't work quite as well on these battleships. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of um, power that we're not using, but I guess it's fine. We do have 90% damage reduction, so if uh, they don't go against armor very heavily, we'll actually be we'll actually be in good shape. And then we've got the heavy carrier. We're gonna do the same thing here. Give these guys some regenerative hull tissue. Chop, 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 chop. So we've got 90%. We have a lot more energy than we need on these guys. Um, we're gonna change that again to just some normal lasers that do some some normal damage um, yeah that's way more energy than we need we can actually just swap um, what is it no I need to select that one I can just swap one two of these out and we'll land at zero oh we can't get over 90 percent a damage reduction that's interesting. Okay, so there's there's some diminishing returns. Let's go over here and we'll just go for one of these and hyper shields. So we got a we've got token shields on these guys. That's fine. That's fine then. Okay, good to know that you can't get more than 90% um, damage reduction. What about these guys? Yeah, so if I were to remove that one and that one. Okay, so there's the there's the break. Right. So some shields and some neutronium armor. If they're gonna force me to do that, then I'll try to do it to stay to stay optimal. These guys Yeah, they don't ha they haven't reached 90% damage reduction, so that's not a problem. Right. Okay. So that's our that's our redesign. Oh yeah, and the, the Corvette also needs to be rebalanced in terms of what it is carrying. You're gonna get the gamma laser. Right. That's good. Corvette design isn't optimal because, uh, yeah, the whole armor the whole armor tanking doesn't really work on the small ships. I might still go with shields on these guys. But we'll we'll find out how it goes. Um, Right, um, we're attacking Marinius. We're attacking Marinius with our. Where are we? Over there. I really didn't want to attack those mining stations, but if you if you really think that it is uh, super necessary, then go for it. Why not? Situation log updated. It's not like I'm the commander and uh, can tell you what to do, eh? Okay, I have a lot of minerals, so just try to start uh, churning out some uh, a second fleet. Let's go for some alphas. These guys will start a nice fleet. 
I hear some bombarding sounds. Not sure what that is or what that means. Get in there. Chop, chop. We'll destroy the wormhole. Generator in there. Got a lot of stuff that we could look at. Especially here, the tachyon lands and stuff. Um, but I don't like that we're so weak now. We lost a good amount of our naval capacity. <laughs> That's really bad. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh yeah, let's take out let's take out their defenses. We only have the big ships now. And one destroyer. Eleven battleships and one destroyer. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. I mean these spinal mount weapons are actually doing a fair bit of damage. That's fine. And they can hit the Corvettes if they have to. Especially because they have strike craft on board. So that's okay. Um, there's not much else to do here. You're being repaired now. Oh, they have a frontier outpost in this system. It's not a priority target. But I actually would like to, to take that one out. Um, where, are the, where are the enemy fleets? We've got one Exeter ship. Got a science ship of the Exeter. Where's their main fleet? Are they are they ganging up? I wonder where they are. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, we do have enough minerals to sort of um, queue up another heavy carrier. I try to go to go as heavy on the on the big ships as possible. I don't think the small ships are really doing too much for us. So I'll just I'll just go with the with the big ones then, and we'll sort of try to go with the uh, strike craft. Hostile might actually engaged. might actually go and redesign the the heavy carriers. Although I mean having the spinal mount, it's still very useful. It's still rather useful. I wouldn't mind getting attack on lands on these guys though. Situation log updated. You can do a good Hostile range fire. Engaged. Situation log updated. Okay, and they don't have any sh any ships in there anymore. I'm gonna go into their other two systems, destroy the spaceports as well, just to take out their defensive capability. I don't see the the Athrax ships. Um, I don't see their main fleet anymore. I guess they went back to the to the Exeter. I thought I saw the Menjedi Interstellar um, fleet over here in Marath. I'm not sure though, but uh, I gotta end it in uh, in any case. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Next time we'll continue our war against these guys. We'll try to build up our fleet on the side, and uh, we'll test our new our new designs. I'm really not sure if the if the shields are really doing anything against uh, for us. I guess we'll just find out and we sort of take the results and uh, make it up as we go. So hope you join me next time. Bye bye.